The body cockatoo is currently only found on the remote island of Masakambing, deep in the Java Sea. To visit the island, one must travel 13 to 15 hours by ferry boat to the island of Masalembu, then three hours by fishing boat to Masakambing. The Indonesian Parrot Project and Conservasi Cockatoo Indonesia have been working to protect these cockatoos since 2008, as they are on the brink of extinction. The current population is 24 birds with five active nest sites. The population reached its lowest level in 1999 when there were only five birds left. Discovered by Dr. D.L. Abbott in 1907, showing a strong population on both Masalembu and Masakambin Islands. In the 1980s, the population was decimated by oil men and soldiers from Bali and Sumbawa who trapped the birds for pets and shot at them for sport. They went extinct on Masalembu. <laughs> Our first strategy is habitat restoration. Habitat loss is a serious problem as mangrove forests are essential to the birds for nest trees and food. Also, the local people eat mangrove and it is the only usable wood on the island for building homes. We started an active program to restore habitat and aquacultures in the mangrove swamps in 2009 and continue to plant every year. Our second strategy is continuing to study the ecology of these birds, including nutrition, breeding, and behavior. The birds forage on various fruits and seed pods. This first fruit is kadongdong and resembles its close cousin, the mango. The birds forage on other fruits, including green mango, coconut, lontar, sukun, fruit pods of silkwood trees, and both mangrove fruit and flowers. They also raid the cornfields of the local village. We've established a community garden on the island to provide additional food for birds and people alike. The cockatoos especially like young green coconuts and will chew a hole and stick their heads directly into the nut to drink the water and eat the flesh. This makes them very sticky, so preening is an important part of their day. We've been successful in mitigating potential problems by passing local laws to forbid trapping and smuggling and are beginning to expand our conservation message to other islands in Java. The elegance and beauty of these birds is absolutely captivating. As the island is so small, these birds are very easy to observe. One of the most important strategies is working with the local communities. In 2008, we implemented a Conservation Awareness and Pride program, which reaches all levels of community members, including local leaders, students, teachers, military, and police, to instill pride and awareness of their very special bird. In 2016, we purchased land on the island, which is now called Becca Park. Becca is the local name for the bird. This is a protected area for the birds near their nesting trees. We have hired local people to observe and protect the nests and to manage the park and community gardens. We also support the women's cooperatives to make cookies, candies, and other items for sale in Masalembu, developed an ecotourism program to bring international and local visitors to see the birds and learn about the local culture. The breeding season begins when the birds choose their nests. They prefer to nest in dead mangrove and silkwood trees. The weather is so severe that both islands are cut off from the rest of the country from November to March due to heavy seas. We've had four birds perish due to nest trees falling down. We are currently looking into nest boxes and ways of securing the trees. We've been studying the breeding ecology of these birds for the past nine years. Courtship starts in early May. Eggs show up around late June, early July, and usually only offer one chick. Chicks are usually born in late August.
The sound of chainsaws in the background while these birds are mating is a scary message that we must continue to protect these cockatoos. Also, there are no other citizens on the island, so if any birds were removed, they would be at risk for disease from outside factors, let alone the dangerous trip over heavy seas. This past May, DNA studies were conducted collecting materials from the empty nests, and we expect results in the near future. Once DNA is confirmed, we hope to find a way to create a breeding program which could be supported on Musalembu Island. We are proud to have been able to make a difference and hope that our strategies will help us sustain this population. We are pleased that the work of the Indonesian Parrot Project and Konservasi Kakatua Indonesia helping to conserve the Masakambing Kakatu has continued. The Indonesian Parrot Project is a 501c3 nonprofit organization which was started in 2001. We need your help to save these birds from extinction. Please help us spread the word on Facebook and Twitter, and any donation, large or small, will help us to keep the wind under the wings of the Abadi cockatoo.